Hi, this is Willie Bean here with a Flash World News update. Today's date, May 7, 2024 time, about 9 a.m. in Texas. This is a World News episode 157. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot Subscriber, uh, Hal Turner, War News 24-7 Plus. So let's get started. Recently, we've been hearing in the U.S. about um, nuclear practices for citizens in the U.S. We know that Hal Turner recently reported in Los Angeles a workshop to be taking place, I believe, this week. Uh, many government agencies and military on how to handle a nuclear attack inside the U.S. Now, I recall last year in New York, and I believe that occurred also in Florida, there were public announcements uh, publicly on TVs in these areas, not across all of the U.S. selected states, what to do in the case of a nuclear strike. Now, just this past weekend, in this county where I live, Rosoria County, Texas, located on the South Texas uh, area, we had a school-sponsored 5K run. And I was startled when I noticed the police and first responders who were, you know, just attending this annual community event with grade school students and their parents, I was startled when I noticed the first res police and first responders were wearing full armored gear. They have custom-made uh, uniforms to fit over these. And they had on full helmets, they had on a gas mask, and they had a separate oxygen supply. Now, these had to be custom made, and I'm sure very expensive. The gas mask fit fully over the face to get it to fit tightly many times uh, the general rules are no facial hair. It has to fit tightly against your face. And I could see the apparatus over the shoulders for the separate oxygen tank. Then the customized uh, helmets were had clear uh, uh, material on the face. They fit down and they fit over the gas mask. So I'm saying to my, this is a bio level four uh, outfit. And during the eclipse, I noticed that uh, in Oklahoma, their National Guard who had deployed were special forces who were trained to handle uh, bio weapons, chemical weapons, uh, radiation, nuke situations, and they had on similar outfits. So I'm putting this out. Uh, for this to have occurred at a regular community event with uh, grade school children and parents, and yet we see our police and first responders coming out in a full um, hazmat uh, outfits and armor. I'm saying to you, P uh, my fellow family and friends, something's up in the U.S. And for this to be occurring, um, and we've seen it recently now in Texas and in Oklahoma, this planning and this implementation of specialized equipment had to be in place for years. Now, what are we seeing with uh, going on in the world? So we're seeing Russia, we're seeing Ukraine. Do I believe the world is on the brink of a nuclear exchange? 
it's highly likely in my last video I put out April uh, 19 to 20 it appeared to me that the and later information I collected that at that point the US across the US our pilots our silos and our subs were in the process of going hot now we had also that information uh, from sources that uh, late in April it's quite possible that the Shadow NATO gave a written formal declaration of war to Russia so we see this going on. What do we see going on now, May 6 and 7? Okay. Russia has said if uh, the U.S. puts in F-16s or other NATO nations coming from Poland and Romania, over here we would have France, Germany, U.K., uh, further off, UK is a separate island off of Europe. Okay, so we have this uh, from yesterday, uh, Russia. If F-16s go into Ukraine, to uh, Russia will assume, Russia assumes that they are carrying nukes. And Russia will respond in kind with a nuclear attack. The nuclear attack will be on London, on Paris, and on Washington, D.C. So if we see NATO foolish enough to put F-16s into Ukraine, I say to the citizens of Washington, D.C., London, and Paris, it's time to get out of town. Russia's statement, this will escalate war and they're talking Russia is talking about the recent belligerent statements according to Russia by David Cameron of UK who said oh it's okay for Ukraine to use UK weapons and strike deep inside Russia and we had Macron of France saying that uh, the French Foreign Legion was already in Slavyansk. Uh, there's a new, uh, Yasov Yar is another area that's being hit. So we had what Russia is calling belligerent statements by David Cameron of the UK and Macron of France. And now, uh, yesterday then on uh, May Six, Russia in this area, Rostom on Don. Uh, this is the area just along the border of Ukraine and Russia. Russia actively put their nukes out. These are tactical nukes, the small ones. And they're actively uh, loading them onto planes and practice taking off. And uh, they're doing this with planes and also subs. So we see that happening yesterday. And we, yeah, Russia is actively now practicing uh, making direct hits on Ukraine using tactical nukes. They're practicing in this area right now. So that's going on. And they are practicing making these same hits at, inside Europe. And now, war news 24-7, uh, Russia describes uh, uh, Ukraine as, as being uh, on the brink of nuclear war with Russia. Russia practices tactical nukes to deter West, the NATO. They are loading planes and subs with nukes. So I have two sources, Hal Turner and uh, War News 24-7. And it states that Russia states it will uh, hit NATO troops uh, if they come into Ukraine. And that they can hit Washington, D.C. 
Yeah. So that's going on. Now, we have this also from yesterday. Russia announces that Russia preps to use tactical nukes in their combat. And uh, they are also, uh, yesterday, the Russia government called the French ambassador and the UK ambassador to uh, a meeting. And it says, uh, continues, and Russia practices new uh, prep in what Russia is calling their southern military district, Rostov-on-Don, on the border of Ukraine. And they are practicing with their Air Force and with their Navy. Russian spokesperson Peskov uh, says that Russia is practicing using tactical nukes to respond to NATO. If NATO sends NATO troops inside Ukraine. And now we have this. Russia to France and UK. Russia will nuke the UK and France directly if they send troops inside Ukraine. Now we know, allegedly, I put out, we already had 100 French Foreign Legion. I understand yesterday when the French ambassador was called to a meeting in Moscow, that the French ambassador was shown a film of at least a 100 dead uh, French Foreign Legion soldiers in this area wearing uniforms with the flag of France on them. And then within 10 to 15 minutes after the French ambassador returned to his quarters, there was a public announcement by Macron, the leader of France, that France would not send in the French Foreign Legion into Ukraine. So that's going on. How Turner also war news. Russia had a meeting Monday uh, with the ambassadors from the UK and France and stated if NATO sends troops into Ukraine, Russia will respond with tactical nukes on Washington, DC, London, and Paris. And if NATO uses NATO weapons to strike inside Russia, Russia will respond the same. If NATO sends in F-16s into Ukraine, then Russia will respond in the same way. So we have that going on. Now, Germany yesterday recalled their ambassador to Moscow and said, return to Berlin immediately. Russia to the Ukraine ambassador, Nigel Casey. If the UK provides weapons inside Ukraine for Ukraine to strike inside Russia, Russia will hit London directly with a nuke. And the same was said to the French ambassador, Pierre Levy. Russia continues, if F-16s go into Ukraine, Russia will directly strike Washington, D.C. with a tactical nuke. Russia sees NATO's moves as being deliberately provocative. And the French ambassador was shown photos of dead French Foreign Legion soldiers near Slaviansk. And if NATO strikes Crimea, and we're hearing intelligence reports that that may happen today, Russia will hit directly with tactical nukes Washington, D.C., Paris, London, and Brussels. 
Russia also warns Denmark if they try to restrict the movement of Russian ships inside the Baltic Sea. I interpret this to mean that Russia will directly hit Denmark with tactical nukes. So we have, and we have from Russia, spokesperson Maria Zakharova and uh, for the Russian Foreign Ministry and Russia spokesperson Dmitry Peskov also giving the same warnings out to the U.S., the U.K., uh, France, uh, Denmark, Brussels. And now we have this. Yesterday spotted in the air were U.S. Specialized Chinooks over the area of Odessa inside Ukraine. Hal Turner's reporting, Specialized Chinooks, the MH-47G, were spotted in the air, and it's on video, inside Ukraine air, airspace. These are specialized operation aviation uh, helicopters. They are armed and they have infrared and specialized radar. They were seen inside Ukraine near Odessa and they've been videotaped and uh, that information is spread around the world. Now today, May 7, President Putin was inaugurated for a six-year term until 2030. Words were spoken over him by the Christian Orthodox leader, Patriarch Kirill, that President Putin will soon have to make fateful, terrible decisions that contain victims. So that's going on. Now, May 7 today, this morning, near Chasov Yar, Russia uh, currently with a force of 500 to 800,000 inside Ukraine, hit Chasov Yar with thermobaric bombs, thermobaric. They go down over an area, form a vacuum, and pull all the oxygen out. Anything that breathes oxygen dies. So they hit Chazov Yar this morning with thermobaric and drones. They have taken down a bridge that served for, uh, for Ukraine to travel from Servoyansk into Donetsk. That's been destroyed. Ukraine is currently out of ammo and can only respond to Russian attack using drones. Russia put in additional troops uh, this morning in this area, and they have cut off the bridge and they have cut off roads. Ukraine currently has no resupply coming. And we have this. This happened yesterday, May 6, 3 p.m., reported by Hal Turner that within minutes of the French ambassador meeting with the Russian government in Moscow yesterday, by 3 p.m. in the afternoon, Macron came out and made the statement, France will not send in the French Foreign Legion. So this concludes my flash. I say uh, we need to prep and pray. I love you, and I'll see you soon.